Joe Lysett, hello. Hello. Thank you for joining us at the pool. Thank you for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. Lovely. Um, you've written a wonderful new book um, called Parsnips Buttered. Yes, I have. About your frustrations with modern life. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a sort of frustrations and um, it's a self-help book. So I, I, I aim to solve all of life's problems. And how, in what way do you do that in the book? Oh, well, I absolutely succeed. <laughs> um, everything's solved. Uh, it's a lot of letters that I've written um, to people, um, a lot of email correspondence, irritating texts that I've sent people, and then a few other bits and bobs, like um, I give some advice on how to take a good selfie, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, you know, just everything's covered. Yeah. Everything, everything you need. <laughs> your, uh, your clip about writing to the parking department? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's a department. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's so, one person at a desk, but they call it a department. Yeah. You got a parking fine and you wrote to essentially dispute the fine. It now has over a million views on YouTube. So yeah. I think you've really hit a nerve with the way that you tackle these issues. What made you want to eventually finally write this book? And Well, the thing with that parking fines is, so uh, you'll often see a sort of in that kind of posh areas you'll see someone like in um, a 4x4 four four or like sports car just pull up and park wherever and they'll get a fine and they sort of just don't care because they're rich and 30 quid, 60 quid, whatever it is, means nothing to yeah. them. And yet someone who's sort of keeping a sort of little Peugeot going and, you know, in the, out in the sticks, a kind of working person somewhere in, I don't know, up, up north gets a fine. It can really cripple their finances. So I understand that uh, parking has to be um, managed and I, I understand that completely. I feel like a politician. Um, <laughs> but I just think it's sort of not a fair way of going about it because rich people don't care. Um, and it's just so annoying when it happens and I get loads of them because I'm really bad at parking. So um, I make a point now of, of wasting the time of the people that give them to me. Because they're, they're so under sort of resourced in those departments often, they just can't be bothered to deal with it. So, <laughs> and I just, yeah, I just love messing around with them. I um, don't really have anything else to do, so <laughs> that's sort of what I, what I choose to spend my time doing. I could try and solve world poverty or something actually useful, but now I decide to annoy Leeds Council. <laughs> so what do you hope <clears throat> that people will gain from this book? Do you hope that we'll become a nation that will fight well, I, I yeah, I love that, like, already people, um, after watching those clips and sort of seeing me do stand-up, I get messages from people saying, I've contested this parking fine, I've had it reversed, and I love that sort of thing. Like, I feel like um, people um, actually can actually, using some of the tips in there, actually get, I mean, most of the tips in there aren't going to actually solve anything. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a comedy toilet book. But, um, but some of them actually, yeah, when people contest things now, I get really excited by that. So, yeah, I hope people kind of uh, stand up a little more for their consumer rights or just enjoy the process of it, really. Because I think the, in a lot of people's minds, sort of complaining about something is seen as like, arduous or whatever. But you can actually make it fun and you yeah. can be... Um, you can add flourishes to it and make it a, a fun experience. You make it fun for the complainer. As yeah, well. <laughs> totally. And whether you get something out of it or not is a, ben a bonus. That's true. You know, but actually complaining about things, you'd be surprised what you can, can get. Yeah. You're very good friends with the costume designer, Jenny Bevan. Well, she's, she describes herself as uh, my other mother. Your so other she, mother. Yeah, she more mothers me than is a friend to okay. me. Okay. Well, we did a piece on Jenny at the Oscars this year, and yes. she famously went in an M&S leather jacket, and I'm pretty sure that's still our most popular piece on the pool ever. I love that. And she took you as her date, well, plus one, I should say. Well, no, she, she, technically she didn't. She took her daughter as plus one, even though I am... Selfish. She's my other mother. But there's a few of us that went out as a kind of gang to support around it. Um, yeah, and that when she came out with that jacket, because it had Swarovski crystals put into it that she'd had um, made. So it was an m and jacket, not, not real leather as well, because she's um, vegetarian and um, does stuff with Peter. But um, yeah, like when she came out, I was just like, that is amazing. So what was it like going to the Oscars? What was that environment? It's, it's as mad as you think it is. Like, is it? Uh, we went, because she won it, that means that you can get in any party, because Brilliant. you just go, here's an Oscar. And the Vanity Fair party is the one where technically you can only get in if you've won an Oscar from that year. 
So you could go out with last year's Oscar and they'd like look at it and go, no. Worthless. But obviously they'll, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, so they, they, uh, they yeah, they, they, uh, they, they checked it as we went in. Um, and I'd had a few drinks by that point. So I was like getting a bit carried away really and taking loads of selfies with it. Um, and then you go in and it was just bonkers. Like Lady Gaga was there, like a big sort of loads of people around her. And then I went to the bar and... Um, the guy, uh, Seth uh, McFarlane from Family Guy, was just getting a beer next to me. It's like, it was just mad. You just, everywhere you looked, just like incredibly famous people. Yeah. But also everyone a bit kind of awkward and not really knowing what to do, like any yeah. uh, kind of parties like that you would, that you might go to. So it was sort of weirdly familiar in the sense that I've been to sort of events like that in London, but also on another level at the same time. Well, thank you very much for joining us and good luck with the book. I'm sure it's going to be a massive success. Thank you. It's going to help a lot of people. Thank you. I've had a lovely time at the pool. <laughs> thank you.